Hey there! Forgot to put it in the intro of the video, but if you're not already subscribed, we're doing a giveaway right now. It ends in the on the 17th of October, so a couple days away. You guys got all you gotta do is subscribe, and you're entered in a free guided trip with Hawaii Outdoors. Ducks, geese, could be a field hunt, could be a slough hunt, whatever we find for ducks. 17th, go subscribe. Hey there, Lou. Hey, Gary. Welcome back to Hawaii Outdoors. It is 518 on a Wednesday afternoon here. And we're gonna go shoot some ducks, hopefully. We're doing the mojo only challenge today. We're gonna see how it works. We got one mojo with, no decoys. We did about three and a half hours of scouting last night after work and found a pretty juicy little pond. There's not that many, but they're all mallards. So hopefully we can get on a few today. Sorry for the glare here. This morning it was 33 degrees. We had a big cold front come in last night in southwestern Minnesota, so hopefully that didn't push them all out of here, but I guess we'll see. If there's no ducks in there, we'll just go scouting. So we got about a 15 minute drive here and we'll be at the slough. You guys stay tuned. All the ducks just got up. Well, we arrived to the slough of choice after jump shooting them geese. That slough is about six or four hundred yards that way. These are pretty close and there's another big one over there, but it's too far of a walk and there's no birds on it. So as you can see, we have one mojo out and the batteries are looking a little weak. So that's prime. Nothing else. We, we rolled up to the slough. We got up on top of the hill where we could see everything and the goose that we wounded from the other slough was on top of that hill three quarters of a mile away from the other slough where we hit him so we shot five i think and only found four the other ones ducks 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 coming right in ready coming right in ready You ready? Yeah. Okay. What an intro. I don't know if I even got the GoPro on. Nice! <laughs> well, we're just sitting here not thinking any ducks are going to come in because we spooked them all out of, the way, out of here on the way in. What were they, teal? Yep. Three teal on the ground. Blue wings. Dang it. I think we're gonna lay there for a while because we're damn tired. This stuff is horrible to walk through. Smash the like button! Two more coming in. For that! Two more coming right in. Okay. Coming right in. I'm gonna bolt bullets in, but you're gonna have to get them. Well, as we were saying, when the uh, camera battery died here and then another teal came in, we got him. He's laying out there, but 
Oh my god, one mojo. That's all your eye needs. Don't even bring decoys. Nice pretty sunset gonna have behind us here if it'll focus. Nope. I'm gonna leave the short lens on because there's no need to zoom when they're coming this close. Those ones were up close and personal. Those ones came right in. They banked a little bit right too hard, but they were nice and tight together, so we dropped a couple in the same shot, I think. You guys stay tuned. We got about an hour to shoot yet, and hopefully we can get some more. I need the green headed type to do it. Didn't we see green in here last night? I don't remember. There was big ducks in here. Oh, we went south. Hey! <laughs> How do they always know the opposite way to go? I don't want rat. That was nice. Got off that bigger slew when we just shot. They don't care. How come they all spooked out of here? Or is that a duck? The duck. Let me get him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Lucas, that's all the way across the slew. Do you want to move? Uh-uh. It's a lot of work. Those are mallards too. Oh, they're not. Yeah, they are. Son of a. Blue. Oh. My eardrum out, Lou. Oh, we might be able to call these back in. <laughs> duck, duck, duck. Well, Lewis got a dove. We just missed a big group of teal. Quite the action we've had, but they're not decoying, and I'm pretty sure it's because we only got one thing out there, but dove for supper. Oh, most delicious small game there is right here. Doves. So we got that and we got four teal. One of the teal actually ended up in the weeds. So we have to look for him a little bit, but we got three for sure that are laying out there. Should have had a couple more, but they're long shots, even with two shots, so. Hopefully some more dump in. Doves? Look at the ducks. Hit that one. We got one, Lou. Huh? We got one. I don't know if it's even down over there. Why aren't they coming in? They land in the middle of the slough. Oh, you got one? Yeah. Nice. Two shot. That's a walk and a half. Oh. Two more big ducks. Three. Three, three. three big ducks coming right at us. Keep an eye on that teal. <laughs> no teal. <laughs> I forgot to grab my shells, Lou. We gotta move. Single. Bring my shells. Single. Kill it. Right. <laughs> I'm out of shells. Come back and grab something. <laughs> Why? Lay the gun down a little bit. Nice. Lou! What? How'd the mojo only challenge go? Um, it started off pretty good, but the slews that we had picked out for this challenge were took quite the effort to even get in there and 
thick mud. We are tired. We got three, four weeks worth of leg days in just tonight. But we ended up with four geese, six teals. Six teals and we lost one, so we should have had seven. And four geese lost one. Two nice doves Delicious for supper. Doves. So, still not sure if I'm gonna throw a catch clean cooking at the end of this video. We'll see how long she gets. We're gonna go home and make some dove breasts and some goose steaks. So, appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for more. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Well, it's a couple weeks later here. What do we got in the crock pot, Lou? Magnificent goose. Uh, we actually froze this after we cleaned it, and then we took it out of the freezer about three nights ago and let it soak in salt water. And then we sliced it up into real thin slices after cutting the silver skin off. Look at that. Shredding. It's like pulled pork. So a little bit of the process we went through mm. here, like I said, we cut it up into small pieces, loaded her up in the crock pot. Put every seasoning we had in the cabin in there. Cut up six jalapenos, about four peppers, onions, clove of garlic, garlic, and onion. And then put filled her up over the top with everything with beef, beef stock. Beef stock and a little bit of water. Eight hours and she was delicious. I had some for lunch and my stomach was just rolling with the jalapenos, but. And it's it's been in there on warm for another six hours on top of that or so, and it it hasn't dried out. Too much so. So Louie's making some side dishes here and I'm getting this video edited up for you guys. Stay tuned for more duck hunting content. We're going again in a couple days. You guys will see this video on Thursday. We're going hunting again this weekend and then <coughs> hopefully get on some big walleye soon. We got a couple walleye videos from last weekend but I don't know if they're going to make the cut. We might throw them out anyway. And stay tuned for this guy. Louie found a bow hunting spot. He's going to go give it a try. Hopefully get a couple deer on camera this year with the new zoom lens. I gotta tell you guys one more time to subscribe. It's gonna get ugly. It's gonna get ugly. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.